Go ahead. All right, so it's clamped. We're going to be one inch away. Similarly to where we were with the steel. And this is uh, the mix here. Jeff is? This is uh, one part granite, two parts perlite. Very good. And uh, that thickness is about an inch. Scott, want to measure this? Throw your tape on this? I think it's an inch and a quarter. This is actually vermiculite. That's the vermiculite, so not the perlite. One and an eighth thick, so it's thinner than the steel. And three sixteenths. It's the thermocouple is starting off at 80 degrees F, and we've got the thermocouple pasted on or taped on to the back side. Okay, Frank, please start the test. And uh, somebody got a watch on him. Anybody got a watch? I got a stop clock on my phone. That'd be great. So we're going to check how long it takes to get that thermocouple either burned through or the thermocouple up to, uh, say, 85 degrees to 90 degrees F. They win, Harry. Win. Let's see what Jeff's reading on this IR thermometer. 1106. What's that reading back there? 82, 81. Okay. Basically, what we started it at. getting some kind of uh, degradation. It's like a melting. What do you think that heat is in there, Jeff? A minute. We're still at 82 degrees on the thermocouple. We're at one minute, all right? Yeah, one minute. That's it. It says hot. <laughs> you're actually right reading through. There you go. Now you're reading on the drip. Over a thousand right now? 82. And it's still 82 on that side? Harry, just read it off by the minutes. Yeah. Uh, the temp temperature's decreasing. Two minutes. Just past two minutes. Whose watch do I believe? <laughs> Man, it looks like a volcano in there. What temperature is it? A thousand. On the back. 82 degrees what it started at. <laughs> if the wind blows, it goes down to 81. It's still 80. Yeah, because the wind's been blowing. Oh, man. So it's cooling it on the back side. It's so damn hot. <laughs> So it's starting to warm on the back side. Three minutes right now. Three minutes? 87. Okay, you can take it off. 88. Now this back side will actually rise in temperature. Yep. And we'll see it go up over 100 back there. As it absorbs the heat from the front, yep. it'll actually increase in temperature. Yeah, that was going for three minutes and 10 seconds. 91. Three minutes, 10 seconds, and it went to 90 until the temperature started to rise. Still over 1,000 right now. So 1,000 within a, a torch. Right here it's 120. Isn't that something?
back like the uh, like the tile. One on seven. The, uh, it's one on one. Two hundred. Yeah. yeah, the it, ceramic tile. Yeah. That tile is unbelievable. Nine eighty three. Nine eighty three. Could you just write those numbers down? One oh four. Oh uh, no! Right on, right on it. Where he in the right where he's right. It's hot. Yeah. Put it here. Okay, right here. Right here. Okay. No, it's not hot right next to it. It's hot okay. there. It's not right hot right there. Uh, 200 degrees. Yeah. Is it hot further down the tunnel? It's not hot right there. two inches away. You can touch it. 134 there. So right here is one. This is one. That's 134 next to 900. Testing the tip of the shaft. Yeah. Right here is 130. Right here is 971. Yes, you're all set. And what's the uh, thermocouple reading now, Scott? 121 climbing. Yep, so once you've got it came close to going through, it actually starts to absorb the heat on the other side. Okay, interesting test. Thank you guys. Over and out.